Hi, and welcome to another edition of Your Health with Dr. Christy. My name is Dr. Christy Reisinger, and today we're going to talk about the question of whether COVID-19 causes strokes. We know that blood clotting is a natural mechanism in response to an injury. However, when a blood clot forms within a blood vessel, it can restrict blood flow. This is known as a thrombus, and one common concerning thrombus is called a DVT, or a deep venous thrombosis, or a blood clot in the leg. If a thrombus breaks free and travels to another part of the body, doctors call it an embolus. If an embolus reaches the lungs, it's called a pulmonary embolus. If an embolus goes into the brain, it's called a stroke. We've always known that dangerous blood clotting is a very great risk for critically ill patients. And that's especially true for those patients that are immobilized and on mechanical ventilation, which can be seen with patients with COVID-19. However, the amount of blood clotting that we're seeing is much, much more. A concerning New England Journal of Medicine article, I'll put the link in the description, talks about a concerning finding of large vessel strokes in young people less than 50 years old. This is really rare. I think it's caused the medical community to take a step back and pause and look at other clotting disorders that we're currently seeing with patients with COVID-19. We've known for a while now that patients that are admitted with COVID-19 can often have elevated D-dimers. Elevated D-dimers occur when there's a presence of lots of blood clots that the body's trying to break down. Elevated D-dimers in patients with COVID-19 predict an 18-fold increase in the odds of death before discharge. One theory for why we're seeing more blood clots in general is that the virus is damaging the cells that line the blood vessels. These are called endothelial cells, and this allows blood to come in contact with substances in the body that cause extra and extraneous clotting, and it's activating pro-clotting factors. The reason why I felt it was important to bring up strokes and pulmonary emboli is that I want patients to realize this can be a troubling side effect from COVID-19. I want people to realize that if they're having symptoms of stroke, which can include trouble speaking or understanding what others are saying, paralysis or numbness of the face, arm, or leg, problems seeing in one or both eyes, or trouble walking, this can be symptoms of stroke. Strokes can be treated, but it's very, very important that they're treated quickly. It's optimal to go to the hospital within six hours of having symptoms of stroke, but especially within the first 24 hours. The longer you wait, the more long-term side effects from your stroke that you will have. I don't think we really know at this point what's causing the increased clotting, which can lead to strokes, heart attacks, kidney issues, and clots in the legs but I do want people to be aware that these can be symptoms of COVID-19. If you're having symptoms of stroke, it's very important that you go to the emergency room immediately. We've been hearing stories of patients that were scared to go to the ER because they were afraid that they were going to contract COVID-19, when in fact they probably already had COVID-19 and were experiencing side effects from that disease. Thanks again for joining me.